Hey guys, hey. Wanted to come on real quick. I wanted to talk about four. I'm sorry, can you guys hear me? All right, I wanted to talk about four herbs that you can use today, starting today or tomorrow, if you can find them, to take that can help you with your stress, anxiety, and depression. Okay, it's a lot of people fighting stress, anxiety, and depression. And it's nothing wrong with talking about it guys it's nothing wrong with talking about it even on my other channel the original princess bronze i talk a lot about a lot of um detoxing and you know things that you can do to help with your stress and anxiety and depression and one is detoxing first of all no number one is prayer okay prayer changes things number two is detoxing detoxing the meat that you eat, the toxins that's in our waters, in our food, the chemicals in our food. They just said that um, there's chemicals in our consumer product products that is lowering people life expectancy. Okay. It was an article today. I didn't read it all, but I get the gist of it. It's chemicals in our foods, in our products, in our clothing, in all kinds of things that we use and we touch and we breathe okay so um it's good to detox guys detox and if you need something to get you started with detoxing let me know i have products on my link in the bio that you can try i can send you a sample we have five dollars single samples of detox tea you can try we also have like detox and uh weight loss coffee on my link but right now, I just wanted to talk about four herbs that you can use um, in your health and wellness journey to help you with your stress, anxiety, and depression levels, okay? Number one is, um, it's called ashwagandha, and a lot of us have heard about this herb before. Um, they have people doing commercials about it. Um, YouTubers talk about it. It's just it's it's very prevalent right now in the health and wellness community. Um, but it is good for reducing anxiety and depression. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Uh, let me share my screen real quick. Share screen. Give me one second. It's pulling it up. Ashwagandha is the name of the first herb that I want to talk to you about. And this is what it looks like in its um, original form. Okay, you see it right here. And let me tell you the benefits of it. It reduces anxiety and depression and effects of stress. It improves the thyroid health. It fights adrenal fatigue. And it improves stamina and endurance, guys. So if you're suffering from stress and anxiety and depression, you might want to think about using something natural to help you with in your health and wellness journey or your health and wellness routine, spiritual routine. Like, you know, prayer changes things. We know that. And you have to take action with that. You have to pray. You have to open your Bible. You have to talk to God. You know what I'm saying? I have to ask him for what you want. But on the physical level, you also have to take action in your health and wellness. And that's by detoxing, you know, eating less. Um, but when you do eat, eat good, eat healthy, eat natural things, fruits and vegetables and nuts Okay, and just research the things that your body can use and what you can't and can't have, you shouldn't have, right? If it's not healthy for you. So just do your own research. But ashwagandha also improves stamina endurance. Okay, the next one is called curcumin. And a lot of you know, have heard about curcumin um, because it is 
turmeric, really. That's that's really what it's, it is. It's, it's turmeric. And here's this is what it looks like. Okay. And they sell these in stores. This is really easy to get. You can go to your, um, what is it? The seasoning aisle and find this. It says researchers are finding mounting evidence that an anti-inflammatory compound like turmeric extract helps reduce symptoms of major depressive disorder. Okay, guys. And you can also order these. Okay. In tablet form. Right. So just do the research, read up on it, Google the benefits of it. And just always like, I'm not a doctor, nor do I claim to be one. That's my disclaimer. I'm just sharing information. Okay. And then the next one is called, now this is the first time I've heard about this one. It's a berry and it's called Shisandra. Okay. Shisandra. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. I'm sure someone will correct me, but you can see it right here and see those are the berries and those look kind of familiar but just always know what you're taking and know that it's the real stuff okay it's not an imitation or something you never seen before you might want to get a second opinion on it okay and then you can buy those in pill form too in supplemental form as well all right the next one and then let me read this one um I'm sorry if I'm jumping ahead, but this one is, it has been found that Shishasandra reduces cortisol levels in the body, the stress hormone, and it's effective in controlling changes in serotonin and adrenaline caused by stress. This is adaptogenic berry, also fights the adrenal fatigue that is linked to stress, Okay. And that is awesome. Um, okay, and the next one, the last one I wanted to talk about is called holy basil. And this is what holy basil looks like. It's an herb as well. Okay, and that's it. It's state, what it looks like. It's an original state, but you can also get this in, um, looks like supplemental pill form. Um and basil leaf, giant holy basil leaf, and in liquid form. And I think the liquid form is much better than the pill form, of course. It is. It's more bioavailable to your body, meaning it gets in the cells quicker and easier. All right. And so let me read the benefits of holy basil. It fights stress, depression, and anxiety, along with balancing blood sugar and improving the thyroid health. And I wanted to talk about the thyroid because the thyroid is very important, especially in women. Please get your thyroid checked because the thyroid has, uh, it regulates our hormonal levels and stuff like that. And we tend to gain weight because of our thyroid or lose weight because of our thyroid, right? Some of us have hypothyroidism, meaning you, your thyroid is producing too much hormones and or you have hypothyroidism, which means your uh, thyroid gland is not producing enough hormone glands, right? Hormone Gland, I mean, hormones. Okay. So basically you want to get checked out guys for real. And a lot to me, your hormones regulate your body anyway. But when you're a female, this is the cause of a lot of us holding on a lot of weight and we can't lose weight like others can, you know, our metabolism is messed up because of the hormones. If it's out of whack and it also probably is a cause of a lot of black women or women in general having th uh, fibroid problems and issues. And we know African-American women are the largest group uh, that has thyroid, multi-polythyroidism, okay? I mean, not, I'm sorry, excuse me, correction, polyfibroidism, right? So guys, talk with the GYNs and... Um, but be very careful also with your GYNs, guys. Always get a second opinion and keep your eyes open 
anytime you go into the office and they're doing any kind of exams on you, please keep your eyes open, right? So even when you go to the hospital, keep your eyes open. Sometimes you you don't even know because by the time they give you medication and, and injections and that IV, you'll be knocked out and don't know what happened until the next day. So I'm just praying that everyone is healthy, safe, protected and blessed um, by the most high. Keep him first, read your Bible, take action, do the right thing, be kind to others. Don't be deceitful. Don't be conniving. Don't be doing the devil's work. Okay. All right, guys, peace and blessings.